south of the United States. It is a picture-perfect state with a genuine sense of hospitality and a thriving arts, culture, and entertainment scene. It is also known as the Cotton State, the Heart of Dixie, and the Yellow Hammer State after the state bird. But because it is prone to hurricanes, you might want to check the weather before making plans to go there. Join us today to plan your travels with our list of the best 10 places to visit in Alabama. Number 10, Huntsville. The city of Huntsville, Alabama has earned the nickname Rocket City. Due to its significance in American rocket and spaceflight history, U.S. Satellite One was launched from a facility that had been used to store chemical weapons during World War II. Huntsville is the current location of NASA's manned spaceflight center. Many of the homes in this city date back to the early 1800, making it a significant historical preservation area. Space Camp, the Alabama Constitution Village with its federal-style reconstruction, the Clay House with its Noritake porcelain collection, and the Veterans Memorial Museum with its array of military vehicles are just a few of the museums to be found in the area. Number 9. Cheeha State Park Alabama's highest peak is located on Cheeha Mountain. The park is named after a Cree Indian word, and its tallest mountain is 2,413 feet, 735 meters high. Cheeha State Park is a great place to go hiking because it is located in Talladega National Forest and has connections to the Appalachian Trail and other paths. If you are more interested in riding than walking, there's a trail for ATVs. There are a variety of places to stay, from tents to a five-star lodge. If you'd like to get married in a picturesque outdoor environment, the park staff can assist you in planning the event. Day visitors flock to the park as well. Number eight, Nakalula Falls Park. The depths of Nakalula Falls Park conceal a romantic tragedy. There is a tradition that says Nakalula jumped down the 90-foot cliff on her wedding day rather than marry the wealthy chief her father had chosen for her. A statue of Mary stands 9 feet tall at the falls that plunge into the Black Creek Gorge. The 25,000 azalea plants in this Gadsden Park are a beautiful counterpoint to the gloomy atmosphere. The paved hiking track in the park, the petting zoo, and Pioneer Village are all great places to explore with kids while camping here. Number 7. Orange Beach With about 5,500 residents, Orange Beach is a popular tourist destination on Alabama's Gulf Coast, not far from Florida. If you are looking for a relaxing vacation in Alabama, this is a great spot to check out. Stay in a beachfront condo and play some basketball or tennis at the local rec center when you've had enough of the ocean. Another popular activity in Orange Beach is watching dolphins. And locals also recommend a trip to the Orange Beach Islands for some fun in the sun. There are four islands in Perdido Pass that can be reached by boat. The islands are a great area to watch seabirds and marine creatures, and they're also a hot spot for people who enjoy water sports. Number 6. Gulf Shores Gulf Shores, Alabama is a well-known beach resort town on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Just over an hour's drive from Mobile, you may enjoy ocean fishing, two of the state's best golf courses, and the chance to see dolphins in their natural habitat. Take a sunset sail on the Gulf or take the kids to a water park or amusement park in addition to the typical beach activities. If you like to party, late April is the best time to go. That's when the biggest beach party in the world goes down. Help us celebrate by hurling a mullet's corpse across the border into Florida. We aim to bring you the top 10 best places to visit in every state. If you like the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Number 5. Montgomery Montgomery, Alabama's capital, has a rich history, but it was Rosa Parks who brought the city widespread attention. In 1965, an African-American woman made civil rights history when she refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white man. In a strange turn of events, the Confederacy was born in Montgomery in 1861. This city on the Alabama River is now well known for its many modern arcs, towering buildings, and thriving art scene, which ranks among the best in the country for cities of its size. Shakespeare's works are performed all year in the Alabama Shakespeare Festival's Blount Park Theater. Number 4. Little River Canyon National Preserve 
When describing the Little River Canyon, superlatives like deepest canyon east of the Mississippi River and most beautiful canyon in the world are common. The Little River, with its source in northwest Georgia, is the longest river in the United States to flow along the summit of a mountain. Even though it is only about 600 feet deep at its deepest, it is a beautiful landform in the southern Appalachians. Floating along the Little River is like being transported to a different world. The river is completely undeveloped and completely beautiful. Many endangered plant and animal species can be found in and around the surrounding nature preserve. Number three, Birmingham. The city was established in the post-Civil War era and was named after Birmingham, England. The city has grown to become Alabama's largest. It used to be the most important industrial center in the Southern United States. This gave it the nickname Pittsburgh of the South. The Birmingham Museum of Art is the most culturally important place in Alabama. It is the largest art museum in the Southeast. There are ballet, symphony, and opera groups, as well as theaters that are dedicated to the performing arts. There are a lot of music and film festivals in Birmingham, like the International Sidewalk Moving Picture Festival. Number two, Dauphin Island. If you're a migratory bird flying from South America, you might want to stop over at Dauphin Island, which is located just off the coast of Mobile. When migrating northward, the island is generally the first piece of land the birds see. Although Audubon Bird Sanctuary is not the only place where birds are protected on the island, it is the most well-known. Island beaches honor the Dauphin of France, great-grandson of Louis XIV with their namesake sunset. The expression, damn the torpedoes, is probably familiar to you. It was here at the Battle of Mobile Bay in 1864 that Admiral Farragut first yelled, full speed ahead. Fort Gaines, a historic fort with walls that could be used to defend, used to be at the mouth of the bay. Number one, Fairhope. Fairhope, Alabama has a beautiful setting along the cliffs and shoreline of Mobile Bay. A friendly, small town feel and enough exciting things to do to make it worth a trip. Fairhope Avenue is a great place to begin your exploration because it is lined with wonderful stores, restaurants, and galleries and is wonderfully lit up at night. Enjoy a round of golf, go on a scenic boat cruise, ride horses, or take a stroll through the Rose Garden and out onto the Fairhope Pier. Weeks Bay Reserve is a good place to go if you like nature, and Fairhope Brewing Company is a great place to take a tour and try some beer. Which of these places would you like to visit next? And if you've already visited some of the places, how was your experience? Let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.